Yo guys, your boy JJ back with another reaction. Um, so we're on episode five of the Boondocks. Initially, I thought the episode I just reacted to, which was, was episode five, it was actually episode eight. I didn't realize that until I literally was uploading it. And then I was like, shit, this ain't even episode five. But it wasn't my fault, man. The, the last video was literally titled season one, episode five, and it came up first. Like, I don't know. But next time I'll actually check which episode's which before reacting to it. And uh, yeah, so a date with the health inspector, which this one is, this is the actual episode five. So yeah, um, cool. Let's get into it. And uh, let's see what happens, man. I'm, I'm in love with the boondocks, man. The show, you know what I'm saying? It's a good show. So, yeah, man, I'm a fan. Hey, yo! Oh my days, what is bro? Why am I? Oh my goodness, this guy's about to drop the soap. But like, why have we just gotten into it like this? Like, pause. Pause. This whole scene is just mad. Pause right now. What's going on? I ain't even had a chance just to, to, to light my zoot again. And oh man, bruv. I'm so glad I skipped over this in the last episode. If you couldn't tell, I'm still ill, by the way. Bro. Do you know what? Let's just get through it. Pause. Hey, yo. I'm guessing this guy's in jail. <laughs> what is going on, bro? You niggas didn't even give me two minutes to just. So drop, nigga. Oh, you think you just gonna leave it down? Oh my lord, is that Terry Crews? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't feel that's meant to be. I'm finished. No, no, nigga. You ain't finished. I've been watching you. Yeah. You ain't watched behind your ears or nothing. But I did. Look at me. See how I'm all clean, glistening and shit. That's how bro, you bro, 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 bro. I'm about to. I'm skipping this scene. I've seen way too much. I've seen way too much. I actually don't want to see it anymore, bro. What the fuck kind of dream is that, bro? <laughs> what did I just see, bro? The camera was just still going. It's just still going and still going. Like, we needed to see the whole thing. Yo, pause for that whole scene, bro. Why for that, man? this soup again? <laughs> Tom Duvall's greatest fear was being sent to prison and anally Okay. I mean, it's, it's not something you dream about, though. Like, what the fuck? Do people actually dream about shit like that happened to them? Hey, yo. At the tender age of 10, Tom saw a prison room. Is this the lawyer? Cause this guy looks like the lawyer, but it says health inspector, so I'm not sure. Which depicted the violent anal of a man. Before then, I'm gonna have to fucking sense. I know I'm pausing. I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna have to censor that shit, bro. So that means I'm gonna have to look at it again just so I can edit it out. Thanks a lot, Boondocks. Fucking hell. Bro. He didn't know the man got in prison. It is true that statistically speaking, if a man is to be, it'll most likely occur in prison. That fact scares straight laced Tom even straighter. Yeah, but everything is more likely to happen in prison. Every bad thing is more likely to happen. What if we get caught? We'll get arrested and anally. Oh my days. He's been thinking about it since childhood. Hey guys, what are you doing? Just smoking a joint. Yeah. You hit? Yeah, alright. You guys can go to jail and get anally if you want. <laughs> What the fuck? Like, how is that the first thing you think about? You know what? His life, in it. I'm not even gonna try to justify because it don't make sense. MP3s? Hey, file sharing is a crime, and I'm not gonna be anally so you can listen to Usher. You know, Tom, this whole anal thing is really causing both of us to miss out on a lot in life. He needs very. But Tom didn't care what he was missing out on. Well into adulthood. Tom still lived his life around the fear of anal That fear, perhaps more than any other factor, made him the man he is today. Tom believed in order. He obeyed every traffic law. He had never as much as- I feel like I'm learning the things I don't want to learn about this guy's life. 
Nah, I'm learning too many things I don't really want to know. But <laughs> in other words, like, there's too much information, bro. Keep that to yourself, G. Welcome to speed, man. He's not trying to go to jail. Criminal prosecutor, which ironically enough meant his job was to send many black men to the very fate he most feared. Yeah, he's the lawyer. For the crime of selling four bootleg copies. So, yo, so is this why he's a lawyer? This is fucked, bro. It's crazy how everyone's got their own little fucked up life story in this whole show, blood. Black men to the very fate he most feared. For the crime of selling four bootleg copies of Soul Plane, the defendant is sentenced to two weeks imprisonment. He'll be remanded. No. Don't send me to prison, please! Please, don't send me to prison! I don't want to be able And Tom knew first that a black man didn't have to do much to go to prison. You have the right to rem You know, at least he he's, doesn't want the man them to go to prison. His reasoning for why they, he doesn't want them to go to prison is justified. It might be weird to just be thinking about that 24-7, but it is justified. No one wants to experience that. So, yeah, but ultimately, he has a good soul. Doesn't want my name to be getting their body violated and that. I respect it. Remain silent. Sometimes he didn't have to do anything at all. You in a court of law, you have the right to speak to an attorney and to have an attorney present during any questioning. If you cannot afford. And in other news, city police are reporting tonight that they have arrested a suspect in connection with the murder of Antoine Michaels, a 17-year-old who was apparently killed over a game of Madden 2006. Wait, he got arrested? The police are not releasing the name of the suspect, who is a black male, approximately blah, blah, blah. And so, we're raising the terror alert level to intense orange-red, based on very credible, detailed information on a non-specific threat. Could it be a hijacking? Absolutely possible. Chemical or biological agent? You bet it could happen. Suicide bomber? Hey, you never know. But what we do know is that it's absolutely, positively gonna happen today. No, he's belling off the door like that. Chill out, man. Who's that? What do you want? Oh. No. Wait, 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 wait. So, oh, I remember she was related to the lawyer, wasn't she? From season episode eight. I wasn't supposed to know this because I shouldn't have seen that before I've seen this episode. But I do remember she was related to the lawyer. I don't know. So Jasmine's her name. This is must be our introduction to her. And yeah, she locked his her relative is locked up. Oh, it's her dad. My daddy was supposed to be home from work. Oh, yeah, he's school. with that white woman. Yeah, okay. And he isn't here. And we're at terror alert level orange. Orange. Yo. Guys, there's got to be some kind of mistake. I didn't do anything. Oh, we know what you did. You guys were playing your little game. And your friend was serving up some piping hot ass whoopings, wasn't he? <laughs> Jasmine, just because your dad is late coming home from work doesn't mean it. No, no, no. He's actually Hello? been arrested, man. Riley, is that you? Put your brother on. It's an emergency. What's the emergency? I'm in jail. That's your business. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm free him, so? though. Who's that? I don't know. Yeah, Riley, it's Tom. I thought you only get one phone call from Jill. Yeah, well, me too. I'm literally Who's thinking it? that. <laughs> Healy, I got arrested. They say I fit the description. I think it's because I'm black, Huey. Mm. You're about to get me out of here, Huey. Listen, you don't want to know what they'll do to me in jail. You don't want to know. You, that's what they're going to do. No. But you're not in jail, you're in holding. And I don't think people usually get in holding. I don't Hold think on. so. Granddad, yeah. do people get in holding? Oh ah, man, poor girl. I don't want your granddad to know. I don't want anybody to know. Everyone knows. Listen, they can't keep people in holding over the weekend. At nine o'clock tonight, they're gonna you put the me news, on the bus and send me to real jail. Real jail. You know what happens in real jail? Oh, earliest I could get out would be on Monday. Well, it's just a weekend. You'll be all right. Oh. The only way for nah, me man, to be out of here go, is to the real killer tonight. The real killer? Nigga, I'm 10. How am I going to find the real killer? <laughs> Please. 
You've got to try. All right, all right, all right. He's hey. 10, bro. <laughs> you need a fucking lawyer. <laughs> a lawyer needs a lawyer. The irony. Whatever you do, don't tell my baby Jasmine. I don't want her to know her daddy was somebody's bitch. Oh my gosh, bro. Like, I hear it because it's oh, not a nice daddy. thing, but. Don't oh, deep it so much, man. You'd be fine. Um, your father wants you to know he's nobody's bitch. Okay. <laughs> I had exactly five hours to find a murderer, and I couldn't do it alone. Ed the Third was heir to the. They're going on a mission. They are going on a detective mission. They're gonna find someone responsible. Cause listen, they don't want their friend in jail. Cause you know what happens in jail, right? It only takes one night. Fuck it, oh bro, like you'll be alright, man. Just don't shower. If you're there for a weekend, bro, just don't shower. I wouldn't shower, bro. Me personally, do you get what I'm saying? I don't want to ever go there, but like, if I was there for a weekend, bro, you think I'm going to them showers? Fuck that, man. Once is a fortune and a drunken psychopath, but the dude I was after had already killed at least one person, and one thing Ed the Third had was firepower. Fuck it. I say we go get the motherfucker. Let's go. Let's Where go. We going? Oh, we gonna need to holler at my man. Oh, is this the guy that you shot? Was this the guy that you shot in the first episode? The 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 war guy, the army guy. Let me know. What's his name? Oh snap! Ed wants letter third. My man, Jen Remy. What's good, baby? It's I think this is good, man. I'll just make us some breakfast. Come on in. Come on in. Sounds like you got yourself a fugitive of justice. I say y'all came to the right hombre. Look, we have exactly four hours and 45 minutes to find the Xbox killer. Can you help us do it? I be dead on his ass like Spencer for fucking hire. I hunt him down and feed him his own testicles. And I do it in a jiffy. And I don't care if his mama the ass, grandmama, innocent bystanders, little kids, babysitters, bill collectors, whatever. Chill. I leave his whole block filled with hot grass if I have to. Mm -mm. You know why? Because I just don't give a fuck. Damn. Y'all sure you don't want no breakfast? I got English muffins and peach jelly. That'd be so fine. See, I, I told you. English muffins. I don't even think I eat that shit. I don't think I've ever. What, English muffins? What? Literally. Why are they muffins? Or they something? I don't know. I should know this. For fuck's sake. You would think I know this. No, I, I don't. So, yeah. My boy was gangster. Hey, man, put some links with them grits, Remy. Shit, I'm hungry as a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm hungry as a motherfucker, man. Let's go. We going on a mission to go and find who caused the crime And you know he's gonna do time Free the lawyer, hey. Free the lawyer, free the guys He didn't do it, hey. You liar! Mm. You killed him, didn't you, you sick bastard? <laughs> hey, hey, chill out, bro Don't pull up. What? Is this what happens in interrogation? In America? That is insane. Damn. Why are you doing this to me? You know what this is, man. It's fucking racism, man. You were the wrong place for the, the wrong, wrong time. time. And you That's just happened to get the description. Mm. Now, if you admit you killed him. The amount of times I've fitted so many sh Stupid descriptions. Oh, there was a phone robbery in the area. You fit the description, so we decided to stop you. What the fuck, man? Come on, bro. If you ain't got no concrete evidence it was me or, or whoever you say it was, then, bro, I'm not involved, bro. Like, don't be grabbing me, bro. You ain't got no fucking reason, no grounds. How can you fit the description, bro? You fit the description of a Peter. That doesn't mean you're a Peter. You know what I'm saying, but let's not go there. Look, even if you didn't kill him, just admit that you killed him. I promise you, you won't go to jail. Smack on the wrist. I promise you. Wait, stop. You can't be serious. I'm never gonna fall for this. But he's a lawyer, right? You should be able to, like, beat his own case. So you say that if I confess, I won't go to jail? 
Confession I'll who? I'll give you my word. <laughs> no anal. No anal. Look at his face. This guy is frightened for his life. Yo, he's going on a mission with a guy. Yeah, we was in the rack. What did you do? In the rack. I was looking for weapons of mass destruction. Mm. Did you ever find them? You know goddamn well we ain't find them. What are you, some kind of political humorist? You carry two dough up in this bitch? I was looking for bitches, but they had that carpet shit all over them and I couldn't see what they looked like. Mm. All that was really exposed was the eyes and that wasn't enough for me because, you know, shit, I'm looking at the eyes, the eyes to be pretty, and I take that carpet off and then I got a tragedy. It's this guy well, no, drinking and fine. driving, I don't know but about I that. But I always say the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. What? Simply because you don't have evidence that something does exist. Mm, the absence of evidence doesn't mean it's evidence of absence yeah so the fact that they ain't got no proof in you that doesn't mean they can prove you weren't there yeah yeah no you're spitting facts bro but that just <laughs> i had to think about that one for a second what simply because you don't have evidence that something does exist does not mean that you, you have dead. evidence that something doesn't exist mm. what what country are you from he's, he's waffling what? but he's making sense what ain't no country i ever heard of they speak english in what what English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Yeah. No, no. So you understand no, what I'm saying to you? Yeah. Well, what I'm saying Mina is that there are known knowns and that there are known unknowns, but there's also unknown unknowns. Things we don't know that we don't know. Mm. What? Say what again? Say <laughs> what again? I dare you. I <laughs> double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more time. What? Well, this is the apartment building where it all happened. Maybe someone saw something. Oh, somebody saw something all right. Hey, slow down. We got to be tactful. Tactful? Yeah, that was wild, bro. They got the whole strap. Diplomacy. Ready to go. I don't do diplomacy. Mm. This is way too far. I do not agree with this whatsoever. What the family, the kids, the mum, every no, 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 no. This is crazy. <laughs> that that guy's innocent. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think he was the one who did it. I'll be surprised if he did. He might have been. He's just with his family. He could be. No, no, no. These guys are tough. He shot him as well. These guys are fucked. <laughs> Mm. Everybody knows. He lives five minutes away. I've got map quest directions right here. He's got a drop. all this out? We talk to people. I got a picture. Where you get to? I drew it from a description of the dude that they gave us while y'all was whooping niggas' asses in the street. <laughs> I almost had time to color it. Shit. Good work. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Take it right here. And it's the left of the third light. These niggas got a drop. They got a drop. Where are you going? Yo, the way that car turned was crazy. That just defied the laws of physics, that one, but still. Where are you going? You were supposed to turn right. I'm thirsty. You thirsty? I could use a tasty beverage. There's a mini mart at the gas station right up the street. Man. We're down the street from the killer. And, and you, you go up, up the street for a drink. Relax. We stop, mad. get this drink, then go get the killer. Nah, so, man. We need to get him ASAP. Get you know what happens in jail. You know what can happen to my man, bro. Listen, the lawyer, if he spends one night in them showers, bro, you know what could happen? Even though it probably wouldn't happen. I'm not going to lie to you. It probably wouldn't happen. But. He's been night. He's been having nightmares about this shit since he was a child. You saw that dream. That dream is scary. I'm not gonna lie. If anyone got that nightmare that you got, I'd yo. If I, I'm not gonna lie, if I ever got that nightmare, which God forbid, 
Thank God I ain't, I haven't ever gotten that net, man. God forbid I ever do. But that might just scare the shit out of me as well. I'm not going to lie to you. But if, I'm, if you deep it too much, bro, of course you're going to have dreams and nightmares about it, bro. Because all that shit's based on like, thoughts in, of your, in your mind. Stop, get this drink, then go get the killer. Simple. We just gonna get something to drink. It ain't gonna take long. We're right down the street. We know where he is. Chill. We just He's gonna go by the time they get back. Relax. He's gonna be gone. What could go wrong? You can be gone. That could go wrong. What's wrong with you, man? Be serious. Oh, look, police and everything's pulled up. They're gonna get locked. Yes, boss man. Well gone. What are you saying? Let me get a a little a little drink and that. Let me get a nice bed. What you got? Watch my bed. Let me get a scratch card too. Front. And some reason. Hey, the Rami, my close friends and allies. It is good to see you. Go put that in the truck. Hey, slow your roll. Hey, the shit. The the fed is right there. Damn. Chill out, Latin Hussein. You know what I'm good for? Hey guys, you know the rules. No exceptions, cash only. Look how happy he is. There's a Jake right there. Look, he got a weapon. Oh, wait Yo. a minute now. Put the gun down. Done? What done? I'm not holding gun. Guys, it's me. Hey, your father I don't trust this guy. This door. I don't know you, motherfucker. Now, put down the weapon. Put it down. What? No weapon. He's no not weapon. the one holding the weapon, bro. I don't see a weapon. There is no weapon. They're robbing the store. I am not holding a weapon. I am not holding a weapon. Officer, I'm not gonna lie. Usually I just be like, why are you snitching? But at the same time, these guys are fucked and they're doing some outrageous things that are just morally just not right at all. So I hear it on this this occasion and plus he's 10 fam store i am not holding a weapon i am not holding a weapon officer this motherfucker got a gun pointed at you you want to die what do you want to die uh, this is reverse psychology he does not have a gun he does have a gun officer trust me the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence i don't see a mm. gun man fuck this shit whose side you on mine or this mm. motherfucker who's obviously of terrorist descent Oh my god. Wait! I think I can see the gun now! Good! Yeah, that's reverse psychology. They're fucked. Man said that's obviously of terrorist descent. Is insane. That is so racist, bro. What the fuck? And the reverse psychology, because obviously the police, like, they don't like them, them, them Muslim brothers either. Now we all see the weapon. Now you hand over that weapon on the count of three, or I swear to Almighty God, I'll blow your fucking head off! I can't give you a weapon. He's gonna mark him, I reckon. Is you he gonna kill him? The Korean jump, not them here. Dude, is he still holding it? He is not holding what a weapon. What the fuck is wrong with this cop? Yeah, I knew they were gonna mark him. I knew they were gonna mark him. Yo, man's got reinforcements. Yo. <coughs> <coughs> Oh shoot her. Yeah, that fed is gone. Ooh. Hey, you not gonna get out of that shot. Who in Riley? Go, man. Oh, he's not dead yet. How is he alive? Yo, what is going on? This is a war zone right now. I'm not gonna lie, I think the two guys might actually lose still. But I'm not gonna, they're moving mad though. Shooting up a shop for no reason. Oh, well, I want you to know you wasn't mortally wounded in vain. 
Actually, I think I'm gonna make it. You hear that, you sweaty bastard? Freddy ain't dead. Freddy say, bring it on, bitch. Bring it! Yo. thousand shots just then i'm not gonna lie <laughs> that shot but i feel like every crisp packet every coke bottle every fizzy drink every sweets every chocolate every washing detergent bottle all of that shit got laced with bullets i'm not gonna lie to you it was a massacre in there, but... today we all came face to face with our worst fears and sometimes there's no such thing as a happy ending. Mm. And there seems to be a gun battle with terrorists right behind me as we speak. Thomas Dubois. Maybe he caught the terrorists. Maybe they were the terrorists that was behind it. That would be interesting. Time. So he's free. Is so they must have the caught something. The bus that's gonna take me to real? But pounding jail? Nah, you're free. No bus. You're free to go. You out, bro. You're good, bro. Yes, my guy gets to keep his anal virginity. Pause. That, I mean, I don't know why I'm celebrating on that. Yo, that is outrageous. Yeah, man. For his sake. For his sake. <laughs> I'm happy in it. <laughs> yeah. You're free to go. The Xbox killer struck again. Less than an hour after we got to the mini mart. If we had gone straight to his house, we could have prevented it. But at least Tom seemed to have mm. So the same killer struck again. So if they would have gone to the house, they would have prevented that. So it's probably for the best that they didn't go to the house. Interesting. Sometimes things just work out for the bell. If we had gone straight to his house, we could have prevented it. But at least Tom seemed to have dodged the bullet. Oh, um, yeah, I'm here. What? You got that free. Yo, I'm looking. Yo, look up Riley. Riley's celebrating, but who is vexed? But I'm not gonna lie, this might be a, a rare, insane W. And when I mean insane W, I mean a W for in people with insanity. Because there's no way they should have been merged out. The victors, yes, the heroes. No, bro. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they were the people that they were G checking. Those guys, those terrorists, were actually the terrorists or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They are not heroes. Raw hero throat terror so terrorists Damn bro, I can't read that. I don't think I'm meant to be able to read that. Terrorists Nah Something had something planning to attack the people of something by threatening gasoline press five something per gallon coin pri oh, prices five cents per gallon yeah this ain't please officer injured mayor says no hurry on cancer okay so that, that's you lost business though okay right this is what i was thinking it wasn't the terrorists that were behind whatever the reason the lawyer was in jail for. That was something else. They actually uncovered terrorists. Okay. So what I'm understanding here is that the, the two crazy guys that like Hugh and Riley with, they actually uncovered a terrorist just by robbing a store. So they were going to rob a store um, and they must have 
assumed they were a terrorist. Well, he might have known. He might have actually known if they were terrorists. But it actually worked out in his favour because they were actually terrorists. But that doesn't mean go up to any Arab person and, and point at them with a gun, assuming that they're fucking terrorists because that's not the case. So yeah, these guys, those two guys have been pointing as heroes, but I don't think they're actually heroes. But the actual killer's been caught. So that means the lawyer doesn't get to get butter. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to censor that out because you know how YouTube moving that R word. Damn. Ah, uh, cool. You can sleep easy at night, bro. I reckon he, the first dream he's gonna have. We know where the first dream he's gonna have. We know what dream he's gonna have. He's gonna have this one right here. He's gonna have. Uh, I don't even know. Nah, man, it's not watching that one again. That was nuts. Turn you to Sioux City for wrongful arrest. Yeah, get your bread. Get your bread. Because they are wrong for the arrest. Alright, shout out to whoever that is. But yeah, um, yeah, interesting episode. Them two guys that who you're riding with, I think they were ex army man. Or one of them was the ex army guy. They attacked, but they managed to be painted as heroes after actually being villains. But that's the only reaction make sure you guys like comment subscribe follow the socials comment if you want me to do more uh shows whatever you guys want me to react to i'll try to do that um any new draw tunes any new draw music as well um put me on because i don't want to do tunes from like seven years ago i want to hear what's current what's popping right now let's live in the moment you know what i'm saying so anything you want me to react to that's current or just any shows that you think i'll be interested